Hey guys, we're Logan here with Garage Golf, and today we're super excited to bring our new video to you. Today we're going to be pitting the Titleist 917 D3 versus the Cobra King F8 Plus in a head to head showdown. We're going to be hitting 10 shots with each club, and in the end, we're going to find out who's today's big winner. Stay tuned. Okay, first up is the Cobra King F8 Plus. And for the purposes of this video, the 12 gram weight will be in the rear of the club to add for extra forgiveness and a higher ball flight, which will be needed with my swing type. Let's get started. We've already hit five shots with the Cobra King F8 Plus. Now we're going to hit five shots with the Titleist 917 D3. Okay, so we've already hit five shots with each club. Now that a little bit of fatigue has kicked in, we're going to hit five more shots with each club and give you the total data here in the end. So we're 15 solid shots into this thing, five more to go, let's get this wrapped up. That's a wrap on all 20 shots. Okay, so before we get into the numbers, let's talk a little bit about the tech that's in each of these clubs. Lots and lots of technology here with the Cobra King F8 Plus. Uh, if you have not yet seen it, make sure to take a look at our full in-depth review of this club, which we have done prior to this head-to-head -head testing. Uh, but we did a full thorough in-depth review of the Cobra King F8 Plus and all of the technology that it possesses. But I wanna go into it just briefly here for you guys. Um, a little bit on Cobra's website directly. First of all, let's talk price. The Cobra King F8 Plus is currently priced at $399. This is as of April 2018, if you're watching this video. And let's talk a little bit about what kind of features it has in it. It's the first CNC precision milled face that's ever been done on a driver. So it's CNC milled. Uh, it makes it a little bit more uh, pretty much consistent across the face. Precision mill for maximum speed. It's also its thinnest and lightest face that they've ever put in their driver and a multi-directional CNC milling pattern that they've used for the face of the club. So it definitely looks a little bit different than what you would see on most drivers that are hand polished as you can see here on their website. They also have what they call precision face thickness on this driver which basically results in a thinner and hotter face across the entire face of the club and it helps to increase ball speed and distance according to their website. They have a TI-811 body and a Forge E9 face. The E9 face has been on their drivers pretty much since I can remember. I have an amp cell that I use that had an E9 face, I believe. Uh, but it is uh, something that they've had as far as technology for quite a while here. 
Um, they've optimized their sweet zone with E9 technology. Just kind of gives you an idea according to what they state on their website as far as what they do. Uh, they also have something called dual row, which this is designed with a constant row radius. They have an innovative dual row technology which utilizes different curvatures on the top and the bottom of the face to optimize launch and spin for shots hit above or below the face center. They have something called tilted bulge and roll axis, which basically with a CNC milling that they use, they're able to design a more precision horizontal face curvature, which they call bulge radius to compensate for gear effect and deliver more accuracy on shots hit on the heel and the toe of the club. They also use this 360 aero technology. If you're familiar with Ping's turbulators, it's a very similar concept to that, uh, but basically allows for more airflow, which is supposed to result in higher swing speeds with the drivers. 360 aero technology, uh, which leads to less drag and more yardage, according to Cobra on their website. They also have dual weights which you can switch for the purposes of this video there's a 12 gram and a 2 gram weight we put the 12 gram weight on the rear of the club versus the front which allows for a little bit more forgiveness uh, for people and a little bit higher launch angle for people with a little bit slower swing speeds like myself somewhere around 85 to 90 miles per hour they also have the MyFly with a smart pad which allows you to adjust the loft of the club anywhere between 8 degrees to 11 degrees total and that's pretty much it for the Cobra King F8 Plus. It does come with three standard shafts that you can use. For the purpose of this video, we're using the hazardous yellow shaft and a stiff flex, which I believe was 75 grams stiff flex. Lastly, the really cool piece of technology that Cobra is doing now is this Cobra Connect system. They partnered with Arcos Golf, who is an innovator in using this kind of technology uh, in which you would put a sensor in the butt of the club and you would basically tag a shot essentially and then once you go to use hit your next shot you would tag it again and you'd be able to measure the distance that you were hitting that particular club with um, using their app so cobra is partnered with arcos golf to incorporate what they call cobra connect which is a new piece of technology that they actually started putting on all their clubs including their irons that they're coming out with now as well but it basically allows you to measure the distance and track how far you're hitting each club uh, but it started in the driver similar to this one uh, a few a few drivers back they started using that and basically it's something that they've continued to incorporate in their product but again it allows you to see what your average shots are with that particular driver or that particular club where you're hitting them in in relation to the actual golf course uh, as you can see here on the picture of the application uh, what the loft of the club is all basically all the information you're going to need to fine tune that driver or any club that you're using actually with the Cobra Connect system. That's actually a really cool piece of technology. The only company that I'm aware of that's currently doing this uh, on all their clubs now that they're incorporating anything new coming out. So got to give Cobra a little bit of an edge in technology there as far as what they're doing uh, with this Cobra Connect system. Okay, so now let's take a look at Tylus on their website and what the Tylus 917D3 offers. First of all, let's talk a little bit about price. As of April 2018, the MSRP on the Tylus 917D3 is listed as $550 versus the Cobra King F8 Plus, which was listed at $399 as of April 2018. Um, they're both 440cc heads, so they're pretty much identical in size uh, between the two, and they both are smaller than their other counterparts. So the Tylus 917D2 would be 460cc, and that's the same with the Cobra King F8 Plus. So these are slightly smaller heads designed for the better player. Uh, but yes, both of them are 440 CC. So as far as uh, Tylus doing anything different with this club versus other previous models like the 915 D3, this is really the first time they've ever delved into doing anything with more adjustability with the club. And what they did was what they call a SureFit CG and SureFit Hosel that provides the best possible fit for every golfer of every skill level. So let me show you a picture of what it looks like. But these are basically little weights that can go into the sole of the club anywhere between 8 grams to 16 grams. And it could be a draw setting, a fade setting, or neutral setting. So for the purposes of this video, what we have in there is what comes standard with it, which is a 12 gram standard setting. So there's no fade or draw bias with the weight and the setting that we have it on for the purpose of this video. As far as technology, they use a radial speed face 2.0, which, 
which is a thinner perimeter face width to promote a greater off-center ball speed for more overall distance across the face. They use their SureFit hosel, and anyone who's familiar with Tylus knows that they have a hosel that goes anywhere between A1 all the way to A4, and it goes B1 to B4, C1 to C4, and D1 to D4. So basically 16 settings, and the way that essentially works is you'll adjust your loft and your lie based upon which setting. The standard setting for the Titleist 917 D3 is going to be the A1 setting, and that's actually the setting that we have the club in for the purpose of testing in this product review head-to-head -head video. As far as lofts, both clubs are going to be set at the standard 9.5 degrees for each club, so they're both 440 cc's and 9.5 degrees for the purpose of testing in this video. Lastly, in regards to stock shafts for the Tylus 917 D3, you basically have four options. The Aldila Rogue, the Fujikura Speeder Pro TS-74, the Mitsubishi Diamana Limited White 70, and also the Mitsubishi Diamana Limited Blue 60. When this club was ordered, however, we did do a upgrade on the shaft. Uh, we are using a hazardous red shaft for the purpose of this video, and this is something I was actually custom fit for at Club Champion. So it's a really good program and uh, something that worked well for my swing type. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the technology of both clubs, let's get into some of the numbers. So I'm gonna show you the Cobra King F8 Plus first. And um, what I'm gonna do is show you all 10 shots, but just kind of go into it briefly, because on the last screen, I will show you the average shots uh, for each club together on a side-by-side -side comparison to give you a better idea on what's going on. So for the purposes of these 10 shots, I did alternate five shots with the Cobra King F8 Plus, five shots with the Tylus 917 D3, and then I went back and did it a second time for a total of 10 shots. So what you're seeing here is the Cobra King F8 Plus. Uh, what I'm going to go over is my best shot and my worst shot uh, with the Cobra King F8 Plus. So my best shot would be the first one, uh, line number one, in which I, hit, I carried it 214 yards, total rollout of 23 yards for a total distance of 237 yards. Club head speed was at 88 miles per hour. My worst shot was a total carry of 180 yards, 25 yard rollout for a 205 yard total distance with that particular club. That was only one yard offline. The 214 yard carry was six yards offline. So we'll go to the next screen here in just a moment and show you the Tylus shots. All right, so here we are in the Tylus shots here. Let's take a look at my best shot first. As far as total carry would be here Let's take a look. Line number 10 was a 215-yard carry with 244-yard total distance, 29-yard total rollout. And then my worst shot would be, as far as total carry distance, would be 182 yards, 26-yard rollout for 208-yard total distance. So just to kind of give you an idea between the discrepancy or the difference between my best shot and my worst shot with each club, and I did include pretty much all 10 shots that I hit, as long as they were solid strikes. Obviously, you're not going to hit every shot perfect, but just to give you an idea, I did include some bad miss hits and also some really good shots that I hit today, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what each club does in each scenario. So let's take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison in each category for the Cobra King F8 Plus and the Tylus 917 D3. As far as the ball speed, they're pretty much identical on average, 128 miles per hour with each. The launch angle with the Cobra King F8 Plus was 14.9 versus 14.7 with the Tylus 917 D3. Our total spin number, 2766 with the Cobra King F8 Plus, 2229 with the Tylus 917 D3. Um, so ideally, we're going to want that spin number to be probably somewhere between 2200 to around 28, 2900 maximum with the driver at least for someone who's swinging the swing speed that I typically have, which would be 88 to 90 miles per hour on average with a driver. So I think both of those are right on in par as far as what we're looking for with spin numbers. Uh, ideally for someone with my swing type as far as the speed, I would assume we'd want somewhere around 2,500 RPM or so for the total uh, spin number that we're kind of looking at there. Offline yardage, as far as each club, the Cobra King F8 Plus averaged negative two yards offline. The 917 D3 averaged negative five yards offline. So a little bit more accurate with the Cobra King F8 Plus, but not by much. Uh, total carry distance, 205 yards versus 206 yards with the Tylus 917 D3. Rollout, 23 yards with the Cobra King F8 Plus, 
26 yards on average with the Tylus 917 D3. Total distance averaged 228 yards with the Cobra King FA Plus and 232 yards with the Tylus 917 D3. So pretty close across the board there. Only a four yard total distance uh, difference in the total distance. So that's really nothing major that stands out there essentially. Flight time, 5.7 seconds on average with the Cobra King FA Plus, 5.3 with the Tylus 917 D3. The scent angle was 33 versus 29. Uh, maximum height was 23 versus 20. So this, the Cobra King FA Plus tend to get the ball up in the air a little bit higher, a little bit longer, and a little bit better descent angle as far as coming down onto the, onto the fairway. Uh, club mile per hour was pretty identical on each, 88 versus 87. Again, these are estimated numbers. For future videos, though, we will be using the SkyPro along with the SkyTrack app, so that's going to give us very, very accurate club head speed numbers as well, which will help us determine our smash factors uh, a little bit more accurately. So we got 1.47 versus 1.48 with the Tylus 917 D3. Lastly, let's go into the characteristics in which we use for these product head-to-head -head reviews here at Garage Golf. When we first started doing these reviews, we created seven categories that will help to set these clubs apart from each other, and they consist of the following factors. Looks, feel, sound, accuracy slash workability of the club, technology, spin numbers, and lastly, distance. Now head-to-head -head on paper, this is going to be a pretty tough matchup in my opinion because I absolutely love both clubs. I think they're both great clubs. But in regards to looks, depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a classic look or something that's more a little bit more innovative. In my opinion, though, the King F8 Plus has better looks than the Tylus 917 D3. I love that 360 arrow technology on the top. I love the Nardo gray color. Just gives a little bit of something to look at, something that sets it apart from some other clubs. So we're going to go ahead and give the looks category to the Cobra King F8 Plus. All right, now moving on to feel and sound. These are basically two separate categories we have, but a lot of times I feel that the two go hand in hand with working together uh, on a good club as far as getting a good feel. Normally produces a good sound to the club in my opinion. Uh, in this case, between the King FA Plus and the 917 D3, hands down, I gotta give the feel and the sound category to the 917 D3. Just feels super smooth when you hit it cleanly. It's a really good club. It's really good feeling as far as the feedback that you get from the club. Even on solid strikes with the King F8 Plus, I noticed that you still feels a little bit off to me in my opinion. Even on a good strike and on a miss hit, you could really feel that you missed it on the Cobra King F8 Plus. So we're gonna give the, the feel category and the sound category to the 917 D3. Now moving on to accuracy and workability of the club. We're, we're nitpicking a bit here on this one. Uh, we're talking about a difference on average of three yards between the two clubs. But if we're going to be fair, we're going to go ahead and give the accuracy category to the Cobra King F8+. Plus. Uh, my worst hit with that club was 39 yards left of the target line. I also had one that was 20 yards left of the target line. But the rest of them were pretty consistent uh, across the board as being a little bit more accurate than the Tylus 917 D3. Not by much, but if we're being honest and fair, we're gonna give the accuracy category to the Cobra King F8 Plus. Next up is technology. Hands down, the winner here, in my opinion, is the Cobra King F8 Plus. Uh, way more technology into this club than Tylus has in theirs, in my honest opinion. Got the Arco system, the Cobra Connect system, got the 360 aerodynamic technology, got the carbon fiber head, the CNC precision milled face. So pretty much across the board, we got to go with technology. This has always been a strength for Cobra, uh, but they win in the technology category. Spin numbers are up next. Too close to call in this category, honestly. Uh, they're both in a range where we'd want it to be for the swing type and swing speed that we have going on right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give credit to each company where credit is due. In the spin category, we have a tie. And in the same way that we're being fair in regards to distance, uh, in the same way that we're being fair to the King F8 Plus for accuracy, we have to be fair to the 917 D3 for distance. It beat out the Cobra King F8 Plus by only one yard in total carry distance and four yards in total distance. 
But if we're being fair across the board, just like we were before, we're going to give the distance category to the Tylus 917D3. All right, so to wrap things up, who's today's big winner in regards to our product head-to-head -head testing with the Cobra King FA Plus and the Tylus 917D3? On the one hand, with the Cobra King FA Plus, you have something that looks absolutely incredible. It's a great club, has good distance to it, it has good workability. Uh, it's basically a, a very good, sharp-looking club with lots of technology in it. Uh, on the Tylus 917D3, you have a very proven company over and over and over again. A company that always produces mass, excellent quality products. Uh, it's something that also looks quite good as well. It's more of a classic design. has an excellent feel and sound to it. Uh, it produces great distance numbers as well. Uh, but pretty much overall in the end, after taking 10 shots with each, and being able to go through the motions with each club. Today, we feel that the overall winner is the Tylus 917D3. Between the two, we felt it was a more consistent club on a regular basis, and the feel to it is absolutely phenomenal. It's a great feeling club. I think that's where it won hands down over the Cobra King F8 Plus. Even on miss hits, you get a very good solid feedback from the club. So congratulations to the Tylus 917 D3. Of course, guys, test this out for yourself. Go get these clubs, get fitted for them, see which one works best for your individual unique swing type. So that's it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out with me and sticking with me throughout the video. I know sometimes these videos can get a bit long, but there's lots of information and we wanna make sure that we provide all the accurate, detailed info to you that we can to help you make some of these decisions. As always, if you liked our video, please consider giving us a like on our channel and also if you have not yet done so please consider subscribing to our channel so we can continue to pump out great videos like the one you've seen today and hopefully get you some information to help you make your next golf decision as always guys thanks for watching and keep on golfing